morning, my most gracious hosts. And what a glorious morning it is. Someone woke up on the right side of the recharging outlet today. Oh, indeed I have. Which is why I've decided to repay you for all of the generosity you've shown since I was transported here to your time. Huh? Raphael, for you, a ticket to tonight's main event at Madison Square Garden, WrestleRomp 74. Wow, this has been sold out for months! For you, Leonardo, huh? there's a new exhibit at the Natural History Museum, a showcase of weaponry from the Kamakura period in feudal Japan. Wow, thanks, Erling. Donatello, I know nothing could pull you away from your search for Master Splinter, which is why for the past few weeks I've worked overtime to locate a cluster of his lost data bits. Here are the coordinates. Uh -huh. Serling, I can't thank you enough. Ooh, ooh, me, me, me! Ah, Michelangelo. Dear, dear Michelangelo, since I know how you love the cinema so, I've arranged for you a special sneak screening of Zombie Pleasure Cruise. Showtime is in 20 minutes. Thanks, Serling. You're a prince among robots. Now then, best you all get along, and by all means, take your time. No need to hurry back. Serling, I don't know what to say. Thanks. <laughs> yes, yes. Off you go. Don't worry about me. I'll pass the time. Thanks again, Serling. Pass the time 100 years. <laughs> Into the future. Back home to 2105! With my very own time window! After a week of sneaking parts from Donatello's workshop, system scan after system scan to piece together the design data of Master Cody's original time window. But it's all finally paid off. My time window is complete! And with the inferior technology I had to work with in this primitive age, it's quite a staggering achievement in engineering, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Now then, I refuse to spend another nanosecond trapped in this dreadful place with those green miscreants. 2105, here I come! Ah, the future looks bright indeed. Ah, I'm five inches tall! I must have altered space instead of time! Dreadful machine! Work! Curse you! Work! 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 Finally, I've traveled through time. Hmm. Oh dear me. 65 million years off target! Ah, 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 unhand me, avian swine! Ah, 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 oh no! Oh. 
I really just don't like dinosaurs. <laughs> Cads, when am I now? Ah! Wow. Ah! 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 Oh, yuck! The sewers. Well, at least I've arrived back to present day. Hey, check it out! Cool! A toy! Or maybe not! Whoa! Hear that? My new toy talks! Activating inner monologue subroutines. Do it again! Do it again! I don't hear anything. Who cares? Let's take them home! Come on! Last one there's got a rotten shell! I've traveled back in time into my worst nightmare. Back when the turtles were mere talks. I've got to do something! But by even attempting to explain the situation, I risk altering the entire future. I must remain a toy, regardless of the consequences. Check out my new demolition derby driver, bros! <laughs> derby driver? No way, Mikey! We're using this toy for scientific purposes! He's my new atmospheric research probe! Probe? <laughs> no, he's mine. Find your own toy. No fair. Come on, Rap. Give him. I want to play with him. <laughs> Whose toy is this? Mine! I see. My sons, your relationship to each other is more important than your relationship to things. Until you learn that and learn to share. This toy is off limits. You must never allow possessions to possess you, for that leads to obsession. Do you understand? Yes, yes sensei. sensei. Good. And now, young ninjas, it's bedtime. Oh, that's oh, all right, then. I'm not tired. Thank goodness for the wisdom of the talking rat. I'm saved. And until the next time jump, I can think of nowhere else I'd rather be than inside this chest. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> nice try, Mikey, but you heard, Master Splinter. You can't play with my toy until you learn to share. Your, Your toy? toy? Good thing I've already learned that lesson. Later, bros. No way! He's mine! I found him! And I can appreciate his advanced robotics! So gimme! <laughs> like I said, he's mine! You wanna fight for him? Huh? You got it, bro! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Last, those turtles are insane. Is it? No, it can't be, can it? It is. It's you. At last, you're mine, my own, my cherished. <laughs> hey, that geezer stole my toy! You mean my toy! Trouble. 
Master Splinter says we're not allowed above ground. Aw, uh, quit being a mama's boy. We're going in and getting my... toy? Toy robot. I seem to have short circuited. Initiating self diagnostic and repair functions. This may take a while, and until then, I'm helpless. Welcome to Wendell's World, New York's flagship peddler of kitty toys. <laughs> Claptrap kitty toys compared to you. I'm Wendell, and you, my cherished, are in my secret workshop. Yes, you're in fine shape, bruised but still quite lovely. Especially considering that you must have been made, what, 80 years ago? At least, that's when I first saw you. You, I remember it just like it was yesterday. <laughs> I was just a boy then, but you certainly left an impression. You, the most magnificent toy ever built. As you can see, I've had a hard time letting the thought of you go, my cherished. But now that I have you in my hands, time to find out what makes you tick. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, shopping? Shopping? You're supposed to be looking for my toy robot! My toy robot! I checked everywhere. No sign of that geezer or my toy bot. They've got to be here somewhere. Whoa, cool! Now that's a toy! I'd hear myself think that. Your toy. Your toy. At long last, he's mine. And now you, whatever you are, want to take him from me? Never. Not when I've spent a lifetime longing for him. Not when I'm about to make millions of him. Millions of ultimate toy bots. Here's a taste of what the future holds. <laughs> My life's work, and your life's end! <laughs> Toy bots, attack! <laughs> At last, my repair functions have restored my systems, which means I can escape! Yes! No. What about the turtles? I can't just leave them to perish. Can I? No, cast my 
ethical subroutines? I must save them. But how can I without revealing I'm not a toy? Wait, that's it! Toys! Kitty toys? Hardly. Uh, are we just really lucky? Or is this store, like, haunted? Who cares? Now's our chance to get out of here. What? Huh? Leaving so soon? The fun is just getting started. <laughs> Bot's hand cannon? Believe me, it's nothing compared to the one my cherished used to blast my tin soldier to bits all those years ago. But not bad, considering what I had to work with. Now then, let's end this. I've got 80 years of playing to catch up on. <laughs> Talking rat! This city really does attract all kinds. Release my sons at once! How about my Ultrabot just blasts you to bits instead? Destroy! 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 Time for an emergency surgery! After all, this thing is nothing but an overgrown toy! And there's one thing they all have in common! Destroy, 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 destroy. What happened? Why'd it stop? Huh. Ran out of batteries. No! That's <laughs> father! It's good to see you too, my sons. Had I not tracked you to this store, I might never have seen you again. And worse, you have revealed yourself to the surface world and forced me to do so as well. We're sorry, Sensei, but that man stole my toy. Yeah, and he's like crazy in love with it or something. Hmm. And willing to do anything to possess it, I see. For possessiveness leads to obsession, and obsession knows no bounds. I hope you have learned a valuable lesson, my sons. Yes, yes sensei. sensei. Perhaps the miscreants aren't so bad after all. Where is this special toy now? Hey, here it is. I thought we lost it in all the fighting. You know... I don't want it anymore. Yeah, me neither. Here, you have it. What? You're giving him to me? Just like that? My relationship with my brothers is more important than my relationship with this thing. You know, I first saw this toy when I was about your age. He, it, was magnificent. Couldn't bear to live without it. But if you can let it go, then I can too. It is kind of ugly looking. And you smell. What do you know? It can't talk! Yeah, and it's mean! Let's chuck it! Ah, unhand me, you adolescent cretin! Ah! I'm free! Oh, finally free. 
And don't worry. I'm an expert at keeping things to myself. I won't be telling anyone about you, or what happened here tonight. <laughs> Just when I was starting to like those turtles. <laughs> Oh no! We butchered him! Are you okay, Serling? I could so use an oil bath. And then you discarded me in the trash receptacle. You have no idea how hard it was for me not to vaporize you all right there and then. Oh yeah, I remember now. I haven't thought about that ugly little robot toy in years. Dude, that was you? He was really stubby looking. Guess that's why we didn't recognize you as our old toy all this time. You're just lucky I got back from cyberspace when I did, Serling. That makeshift time window you built was about to completely short circuit. Yeah, you must have really wanted to get out of here. Oh, it's not so bad. It's just... just... Yes, yes, it's terrible! Living in filth, hiding in shadows, never having a moment of privacy! Doesn't it ever get to you? Of course it does. I guess over the years we've just developed certain coping strategies. Come on, Chrome Dome. I got just the thing to take the edge off. Yeah! Here we go! Oh! Yeah! 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 Feeling better yet? Better? My circuit sensors are overloaded! My emotive module is at full capacity! And I've nearly smashed myself to scrap trying to keep up with you! I've never felt so alive! There wouldn't happen to be any smaller buildings nearby, though. Would there? 